Hey guys, welcome to Blondity Daily. First my little disclaimer, it's no financial advice, my own opinion and estimates, my estimates could be completely wrong. Don't trust, always verify, understand the numbers, be aware of scammers and you know the best how to invest your money. Please be aware that I'm invested in Hive Blockchain, Argo Blockchain, Bitfarms, hud 8 k one DMG Blockchain and Digihost. Okay, let's jump right into it. So Bitcoin had a nice move today. Uh, we break. We had a breakout from this uh, yeah, huge bull flag here. We were forming in the last two days, uh, two weeks. And yeah, we had a breakout here and now we're forming again something maybe like a bull flag. We will see whether we break out to the upside or downside. I don't know. But yeah, Bitcoin is up 3%, Ethereum very strong, 8%, also Polkadot, Litecoin, yeah, 6%. Okay, the miners are still not performing very well, especially the miners on the Canadian exchanges here. We can see high 5% in green, HUD minus 3, Bitfarms minus 1. So that is very interesting. Um, Argo is doing good here, 6%, Riot minus 1, Mara 6%, so Mara is looking very strong right now. We can see this here, they are not far away from the last all-time high. Yeah, so, I mean, it's obviously right now these, um, they all need to go to the US, to an US exchange, um, maybe NASDAQ. Um, that's very important because um, you can see that, uh, yeah, on these Canadian exchanges here, um, yeah, they're not performing very well. I think they are undervalued compared to the US peers. Um, yeah, so, but I will not judge on them right now. We have seen this in the past that they often get these explosive moves here after these downtrends. So um, I re want to really wait for the next all time high for Bitcoin. So if we surpass 62,000 US dollars, and um, I think uh, then these miners should move. If not, um, yeah, then it's gonna be interesting. But right now it looks for me like a buying opportunity here. Um, yeah, if the other miners rise and these will stay in red here, I think I will swap a little bit into this. Yeah, we will see, but I have to wait a little bit. K1 is looking strong today, especially in Germany. Um, we can see here that we are forming something also like a big bull flag here, you can call it. Some others would call it like a like a bull trap or so. So it, with the chart analysis, it will always depends what you want to see here. Um, yeah, but um, I'm very bullish on K1 too. Yeah, um, let's go to the news. Um, there's the Green Edge Generation, um, which is a power producer um, in New York. And yeah, they want to merge with support.com, which right now has 107 million uh, market capitalization uh, and because it's listed on NASDAQ. And yeah, it's gonna it's very interesting because it's yeah, it's a power producer which is mining Bitcoin which is already mining Bitcoin. So they want to have 500 megawatt until 2025. So on Monday, the New York based uh, company Green Edge Generation Holdings revealed the business aims to be the first publicly listed mining operation with a wholly owned power plant. Green Edge expects to be publicly listed on NASDAQ via a merger with the firm support.com. Yeah, that's interesting here. Green at the time of publication, Green Edge's power plant is a 106 megawatt gas power plant with 19 megawatt dedicated to Bitcoin mining. Green Edge is shooting toward a 41 megawatt of capacity by Q2 2021 and 85 megawatt by the end of 2022. So they want to grow, they want to grow big. Right now it's 19 megawatts. Um, I'm not 100% sure if it's self mining or if it's hosted mining. Um, but what, what is really interesting for me is that these, um, these power producers are moving into Bitcoin. So they are not profitable. We have seen this with this acquisition a few days ago from DigiHost. They acquired a gas fired power plant, very cheap, like 4 million US dollars or something like this. And yeah, because these, these, these power plants are not profitable anymore. They, they, um, the, the wholesale electricity market, the electricity prices are too low. So they cannot compete right now. And yeah, that's why they have to look for uh, additional revenue streams. And I think we will see more and more of these power producers, these independent power producers um, going into um, yeah, mining Bitcoin. And yeah, we will see how this all develops here. I think this is early. Um, I will not invest right now into these companies or in, in, in support.com, but yeah, it's, it's a very interesting story in my opinion. Okay, let's go to DigiHost. DigiHost acquires 700 as 17 plus with each as 76 terahash. 
the Bitcoin miners here with immediate delivery. So that's very interesting. So they paid like 4 million US dollars and the hash rate overall is 50 peta hash. Um, or approximately 20% in the second quarter of 2021 would increase. Um, yeah, they, the delivery will be in early April, April, so in a few days they should get these miners. I mean, these miners are not cheap anymore, <laughs> you can see this. Um, I mean, this is 80, 80 US dollars per terahash. It's still below the spot market price, which is above 100 US dollars, as I'm aware of. Aware of. But uh, yeah, t one year ago or so, the price was like 20, 20 to 30 US dollars. I think one year ago it was 20 US dollars per terahash and right now it's 80 or 100. They paid like 80. Um, yeah, so it's very, very expensive to buy miners, but um, it should be still profitable if Bitcoin gets like, for example, to 200,000 US dollars, they will still uh, ROE in this year. Because we can see here that uh, with the price right now and the difficulty right now, they would mine approximately nine Bitcoin per month additional which should be like 400,000 in your um, of operating profit per month right now. So the miners will be installed at the company's existing mining facility in upstate New York. Um, Michael Amar, um, I had a call, a short call on Friday with him. Uh, it was very interesting. And yeah, he says here, um, we continue to aggressively pursue every new opportunity that aligns with our goal to expand operations through strategic acquisition of Bitcoin miners and low cost sources of clean energy. So last week they bought this 60 megawatt gas fired power plant. And um, yeah, so they have right now like close to 100 or should have like 100 megawatt and capacity. So they really need the miners. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. Um, how much hash rate they will get this year or maybe next year. Um, yeah, so that's very exciting. Um, I'm invested in DigiHost, so I hope this this plays out well for this company and this company can make a huge move. Yeah, this is um, the Bitmain Antminer S17 Plus with 76 tera hash here. Uh, yeah, it looks like the S19. It's a, It has a little bit less um, hash rate, a little bit less electricity consumption, I guess, a little bit less efficient, but overall it's a very good miner. Um, yeah, you can see the data here. It's 76 tera hash at three kilowatts. Okay, so let's move on. Let's go to Riot Blockchain. So first of all, they have a new website. Finally, they have a very nice website. I'm very happy about this. Um, so that looks more and more like a great um, blockchain and mining company. And we can see here the current mining rates. I think this is very important to have this data here on the website that the people don't have to search for this. I hope Mara will do this um, also soon here, like like um, Riot or like Argo blockchain to be very transparent here. So um, yeah, they have 1.3 exa hash right now operational, which should be the lead right now. Some people said to me that Mara should have 1.4 exa hash. I'm not 100% sure. They said they will have these miners at the end of March. So they didn't announce it, but they could have it in the next few days that Mara has 1.4 exa hash. So yeah, that's now the battle of the US giants here. And uh, the, the efficiency is very, very good um, for Riot blockchain. So you can see 32.4 watt per terahash. This is the industry lead. It's, it's, yeah, it's all these S19 miners or S19 pros. And you can see it here, 43 megawatts and 1.3 exahash. That's, um, yeah, that's a great, um, that's a great efficiency. Um, yeah, here they have their story and when they will get new miners and so on. So they will have like four exahash or they should have like four exahash at the end of October 2021 uh, with 39,000 miners. Uh, all of these as 19s. Um, yeah, wow, <laughs> that's a lot. And yeah, with four exahash with the Bitcoin price, let's say. Yeah, let's let's do a little mind game like 200,000. Wow, maybe the hash rate doubles until then or the difficulty, but that they will still make a lot of money. Yeah, so I hope these other miners can go to NASDAQ soon and will get the same opportunities. I think that's very important. We see that this NASDAQ helps a lot to get capital to get uh, these mining contracts. So that's very nice. 
yeah um then i have some news here about the nvidia cmp thing because hot 8 announced last week on friday i think that they will go into gpu mining which was a very exciting move for me um because they were talking about diversifying revenue streams and i was yeah i was thinking okay how do they get new bitcoin miners and yeah now they're going to gpu mining and yeah, right now Ethereum is very profitable. Um, you never know what what's in the future, but um, yeah, right now it's more would be more than ninety percent um, gross mining margin. And yeah, then I saw this article here um, or this news here that Nvidia has the CMP two hundred twenty HX crypto mining with um, yeah should could be at two hundred ten mega hash per second. Um, so um, we have right now only these specifications here from 30 to 90 HX. So yeah, there's there should be already a better one here, the 220 HX X. Um, yeah, we don't know which one it is, but um, we can speculate a little bit. I hope uh, that HUD 8 will announce soon uh, which models did they buy. But uh, because this one here with um, yeah 210 um, mega hash, that's, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of hash rate and that would be even more efficient as I calculated uh, last week. I think it has, it could be also has uh, like 20 gigabyte um, uh, uh, memory size. Yeah, we will see. Um, very exciting here. Then we have some news here from Visa. Uh, Visa. Visa plans to allow partners to settle fiat transaction with crypto. I think maybe that was also reason for Bitcoin, one of the reasons for Bitcoin to move today to the upside. Visa's partners will be able to exchange USDC, so this is a stable coin here, over the payment network to clear transactions made in fiat currency. Um, on my in a Monday announcement, Visa said it will be partnering with crypto exchange platform and card issuer Crypto.com to offer a crypto settlement system for fiat transaction later this year. Visa's partners will reportedly be able to exchange USD coin over the credit cards payment network to clear transactions made in fiat currency. Yeah, so um, the adoption is growing here. Uh, Visa is making big moves. We have PayPal, we have Visa. Um, yeah, I think soon MasterCard will follow and some other providers. Um, yeah, that's that's very good for Bitcoin and the adoption. I think it will only grow. Okay, let's move on. Here we have the hash rate of Bitcoin. So we can see it's, yeah, it's finally growing. You can see it in the last few days. So this is the one year chart. Let's go for one month. So we had a huge move. We had a new all time high here, but very short term, 195 exa hash. Since then we are dropping. But maybe this could be the start of the wet season in China. We will see. Today it's it's getting a little bit lower here. But the, the hash rate will never go down again, I think, uh, with this crazy profitability. But the next difficulty change here um, is yeah expected right now at 6%, uh, which could happen in three days or should happen in three days. So it's not that big, the difficulty change. I mean, we had in the past like 10 to 15% uh, changes. This is big. Uh, five to six percent in the bull market is not big, um, but it's it's an increase, that's for sure. Okay, let's move on here. Um, yeah, we have the mining profitability, thirty-four cents per day per terahash for Bitcoin. We can see still the fees are very low in Bitcoin, not big movement right now. Also in Ethereum, the fees are not very big, close to two Ethereum here and the mining profitability at 9.3 cents per day per mega hash so nothing outstanding here um, we can see the address is richer than one us dollars are below 33 million us dollars um, yeah so now it depends on bitcoin can we see a new all-time high soon here do we continue this move here to the upside or do we have another leg down who knows um, yeah, but uh, then it's going to be interesting when we get this new all time high, let's say 65,000 or something like this. I think that's when our miners should make a big breakout. Um, you never know, um, but that's my expectation here. Uh, right now, it's still very boring, to be honest, with these crypto stocks. I mean, some are moving. For example, Galaxy Digital, a nice move here, 15%. So it's always good to have Galaxy. Then we have Voyager Digital, which is also very, very strong. We can see it here. There's a nice uptrend. Um, 
yeah they could be a competitor to coinbase or so who knows that looks very strong okay guys um so i think that's it for today um thank you very much and see you in the next one auf wiedersehen